It's 9am on Monday the 4th of July 2022. Um, I guess that makes it happy Independence Day for all of you in America. Um, it's Rachel's birthday as well. I've sent multiple messages but I haven't heard back yet but that's cool. Um, anyway, I, as we know, tried to feed Sebastian the other day and it didn't work because it looked like he was shitting. His eyes glazed over and he was like pink under the belly and all the signs that say he was going to shit. Um, however, they have gone and he hasn't shed and he looks, well up until about two minutes ago, I thought he looked fine. And I brought this stand out. I was gonna try and feed him again, do what I did last time um, because I have an appointment for an ultrasound at 10.40 um, and I need to get petrol before then but it's only 9am so that's fine um, but I've now just seen you can all come for a walk with me actually I've actually now just seen something I've never ever seen before and I've owned Sebastian for a how long how long have I been here 18 years so I've owned Sebastian for 17 years now yeah, let's see if I can zoom in I'm not great with this stuff see his face see that big lump underneath there they're not supposed to be there. Um, I tried to call the man who I get the um, rabbits from. Um, I just sent a message to my friend who's a vet nurse where I take boss asking if they deal with reptiles. Um, I mean, I'll be honest and say I don't really understand the anatomy of a snake, so I've never actually had to take him to a vet before. There was one time when I'd had him for about five years that he stopped eating for a number of months, and before I ended up taking him to the vet, I took him to the pet store, and they recommended that I boil his food in chicken noodle soup, which, by the way, if you're a snake owner and your snake is meant to be feeding, um, and he's not chicken noodle soup apparently works like a charm uh, definitely did for Sebastian he loved it um, thankfully the bunny is perfectly fine like it's like any normal meat you take it out of the freezer defrost it and leave it in the fridge for however long um, being a vegan and having a full fucking rabbit in my fridge is a bit like but not the end of the world um, but yeah I don't totally know what to do so I think I'm gonna wait to hear back from someone before I try and attempt to feed him again because the um, process as we've seen is is well it's very heavy the rabbit's huge it's like two kilos all right so it's massive and that might not be massive to the next person but you're holding it on a tong trying to get the snake to eat it and you live in pain it's enough so yeah maybe I'll finally do my vacuuming that's what I really, really need to do. My house is clean, and now that I'm like going with the flow, getting out of my head and into my body, um, and just everything's on my side, I'm gonna keep saying that. Feel free to use it yourself. It's a wonderful little ma life mantra. Um, but yeah, life is good, I'm feeling great, and I guess that's me for now. Happy Monday.